This team right here is the Miami Dolphins. And today, I'm going to be rebuilding them until I win a Super Bowl. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so let's hop right on in. All right, this year, we got a couple players to sign. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sign Mike Jasicki, and I'm going to sign him to a five-year deal, $4.5 million, but I'm going to make the bonus $5 million. We do not have a lot of money, so we got to be kind of stingy with our money. So we only have $19 million for the free agency, but I think I'm going to trade some players. All right, before we sign free agents, I'm going to go to the Trade Center. And one of the players I'm going to trade is Tyreek Hill. The reason why is because he cost $26.1 million. Plus, he's a 98 overall. We should be able to get something big. It does look like the Lions do have a lot of money, and they can actually afford Tyreek Hill. So I added a first from this year and a first from next year to get Frank Ragnall, Panay Sewell, and Aiden Hutchinson. I'm actually very happy with this trade. We have probably the best O-line in the game. I'm going to trade Christian Wilkins. I traded Christian Wilkins for Joe Mixon. Mama, I'm a criminal. Since I traded my two first round picks, I don't think I'm going to do the draft. So I'm just going to sim straight to next season. This is what the offense looks like in year one. And this is what the defense looks like. Alright, so we are here in the 2023 NFL season. So, I think we're going to go ahead and just sim straight to the playoffs. And no, we missed out on the playoffs. We went 8 and 9, but let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. Tua had a great yardage base year, but touchdowns and interceptions were pretty bad. Joe Mixon had a wonderful season 1,200 yards, 13 touchdowns. Jalen Waddle had 1,100 yards and 12 touchdowns. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sim to the offseason and let's sign our players. And the time has come. I don't even know if we have the money. So I'm about to give Tua a fat contract. Seven years for $26 million and a $14 million bonus. It's okay if he doesn't sign back. And the free agency will be the better run. Well, we just lost our QB. But that means we can sign everyone else. Oh my goodness. This is the greatest free agency I've ever seen. Okay, first of all, we got like the three best running backs in the whole game. We got Lamar Jackson. We got Justin Herbert. All right, yep, I'm signing Nick Bosa. I don't care. I really want him. And he's interested. And it looks like we're in a five-way tie. Jeffrey Simmons is really interested in us. A few moments later. So Jeffrey Simmons has zero offers. And Nick Bosa has 13, so I'm going to sim this. And we didn't get him, so our second choice is Jeffrey Simmons. And we're in the lead for that. I'm going to give Gabe Davis a contract because we have a 75 overall as our second string. The two guys I'm interested in is Gabe Davis and Jeffrey Simmons. And that's great, we got both of them. Teron Armstead was a 93 last year, and now he's a 90. So it looks like I'm about to trade him for a QB. So I just made a massive trade with Teron Armstead in a fifth to get Trevor Lawrence. Now, instead of worrying about QB, I think we should worry about left tackle because Frank Ragnow is taking over. So I just traded for Trey Smith, but I'm going to put him at left tackle. And now our O-line is fixed. We're coming in at an 86 overall with an 89 offense and an 84 defense. I'm going to go ahead and sim the next season so we can have some more money. All right, let's go ahead and sim to the playoffs. All right, so let's go. We made the playoffs at 10 and 7, and this year we're going up against the Cincinnati Bengals. Trevor Lawrence had an amazing year. He had 4,800 yards, 44 touchdowns, and 15 interceptions. Joe Mixon had 1,100 yards and 9 touchdowns. And Trevor Lawrence had three 1,000-yard receivers. So let's go ahead and sim to the Super Bowl and see if we make it. And we get first rounded by the Bengals. I'm definitely blaming this on my defense. Next year, I'm going to try and sign some big players. All right, so this year, we have some big money. We have $111 million, and we have a ton of players to sign. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sign the players that I want. All right, first, we're going to start off with Trevor Lawrence. I'm going to give him a seven-year deal and bump this up to $16 million. And Trevor Lawrence wants to go to the free agency. So it looks like we might be getting Jalen Phillips, and we're getting Asante Samuel. 
I don't know how I feel about this, but I just traded for Trey Lance. This team is falling apart. We really need a good year where we can make the Super Bowl. All right, I'm just going to sim next season, and let's see what happens. All right, so we are here in the next season. We're coming in at an 85, so, like, we shouldn't do bad. I think we at least deserve to make the playoffs. All right, let's go. We made playoffs at 10 and 7. You've got to be kidding me. Trey Lance gets hurt? Look, what are the possibilities of that? Shelton Fitzsimmons. First of all, he led us to the playoffs, which it confuses me. All right, I am going to pick up a quarterback from the free agency. Ooh, which quarterback do I want? I don't care. I am signing the GOAT, Carson Wentz. All right, and now we get to go up against the 14-3, 88 overall, the Kansas City Chiefs. Give them a round of applause, everyone. All right, not shocked. We lost $29 million right there. Let's see what you have to sign. It's not that bad. Okay, it's not that bad. All right, so I know the whole point of a rebuild is to watch the person rebuild the team. But I'm about to make a ton of big moves, and it's going to be very stressful, and it probably will take like an hour or two. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just gonna snap my fingers, and our team will be renewed or whatever you call it. So, in three, two, one... I probably just spent an hour trying to get some guys. First, I started off by signing the 92 overall quarterback from the free agency. And then I traded Joe Mixon for Tony Pollard and some other guy. And then I traded for the center because I got rid of Frank Ragnall. And I got some guys on defense. I traded for Davis and then this Daryl Rogers guy. So the team is looking amazing. I think we can make the Super Bowl this year. I mean, we're looking very good for it. I mean, the defense was horrible before, and now it is looking very, very good. All right, so I think this is our year. So I'm going to go ahead and let's send to the playoffs. Okay, for a second, I thought we missed the playoffs, but we made the first seed. Okay, Devon Longridge. Had passed for 4,700 yards, 35 touchdowns, and 8 interceptions. So Tony Pollard rushed for 1,000 yards and 10 touchdowns. Our guy passed for two 1,000-yard receivers. All right, we are going up against the Bengals. We have a three overall higher than them, so we really should win. Probably the craziest game ever. Miami versus Buffalo. And we have made it to the Super Bowl. So I get to play the first and second quarter. This Super Bowl is the Miami Dolphins versus the New York Giants. Giants score, 45-28. to 28. Giants score again. Field goal. Come on. Oh my god, overtime. Yes! Yes! We won! They went in the overtime and we won by a field goal! Oh! Yes! Oh my gosh. Miami hasn't won a Super Bowl. Since their undefeated season. That's our one-year quarterback. We've only had him for a year and he wants us the Super Bowl. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was a blast. Please like and subscribe. I will see you all in my next video.